Hey there folks, how you doing today? Um, I'm outside in the yard, it's January 9th, and I'm planning for the next season. You can probably hear the girls out there, well actually they're in the chicken run, and they would like to come out and play, so let me uh, let them out and then I'll talk to you a little bit more. Okay ladies, come on. Now you gotta realize the snow on the ground. They don't like snow. Much like me. So they have this path to walk along and that's all they're gonna do. Right there there's snow and oops, nope, we're not gonna go there. Alright girls. I'll be back to talk to you later. They're having fun. Well over there to the left of the door. This spring I plan to plant two blueberry bushes over there. Also, in the spring, besides the blueberry bushes, I'm getting more asparagus and some a new variety of strawberries. I don't like the variety I had before. They just weren't productive and they were really odd shaped. So I'm going with a June bearing uh, strawberry and I can't remember the variety. Oh, back to the blueberries for a second. I ordered two different varieties because that's what you need. You need some sort of like two variety cross pollinations to get um, a better yield of blueberries. And then back to the strawberries. I'm debating on how many I want to plant. So that's still up for debate. And I put them in a bigger bed than they were previously. So we'll see how that works out. Still deciding. Um, let's see, what else are we doing? Let me swing it around. My garden actually looks kind of neat right now. Well, no, actually it's still a mess, but you can't see half the mess because it's covered in snow. Um, after the snowstorm, the low tunnels were very collapsed. I'm going to find a better hoop. I think I'm using irrigation hose, and that's a little too flexible. Um, I don't think anything got crushed. And yesterday I put a second frost cloth over both of those because tonight and tomorrow and Tuesday is going to get really frigid. Um, I'm sure I've already lost a few things in here, but um, I took a peek in the far tunnel, that's my brassicer one, and the cabbage seemed all right. They looked like they were cold, but they weren't frozen. Um, I saw the broccoli and they looked fine. I just looked at one corner. Um, but yeah, probably should have taken those tomato holes down. But, oh well. Um, changes here, those trellises, if all goes well, are going to be replaced with cow panels, so it'll be an arch trellis going down that center aisle. Um, so I'm looking forward to doing that. Um, and yeah, I'm going to get, that's actually originally for, um, to use as a trowel for livestock, but I drilled holes in it. But I'm gonna get some raised beds possibly similar to that, just with no bottom. Um, and add a couple one more for in the, in the spring. I'm also waiting for one more shipment of seeds. And then I'll have the bulk of what I need for next season. And I'm waiting for Fedco. I already got seeds from Baker Creek heirloom seeds and I like to use um, MI Gardener seeds. He's out of the It's a family run business so like supporting him to be a YouTuber who does a lot of gardening stuff. Um, so yeah. That's what we're looking forward to in the new season. Alright. Can't wait for winter the past really. <laughs> Alright, be well. My Cape Cod life.